was born in Tehran and raised in the United States. And that right there, that sentence explains a lot of my work. I would say a big chunk of it has to do with where I was born and a big chunk of it has to do with where I grew up. I really wanted desperately to go to art school. When I was in high school, I begged my parents. I even threatening them that if I didn't, if they didn't let me go to art school, I would like do something crazy. And they were like, you're not doing that. That's, that's crazy. So I studied political science in college, you know, with the idea of, you know, having a more stable existence in life. And then I guess I just kept doing art despite like what my day job was. I just kept going back to art and so it finally got to the point where it was a bit like, let me just officially embrace this since this is what I'm doing in practice anyway. So that's when I went to graduate school to get my Master's of Fine Art at uh, New York University. I always wanted to make sculpture and I always had uh, like forms in my head of things that I wanted to make. But because I didn't have like art school like, and technique and experience, I didn't know how to create and actualize the things I was imagining. So for many years, I would scavenge around my neighborhoods in New York looking for, you know, discarded chandeliers or oftentimes like lighting fixtures because I kept thinking, well, I can just use the form that's already been mass produced or manufactured and, and somehow use that to make my work but uh, because I couldn't weld, I couldn't make the forms myself. But each time I tried to do that, you know, it would remain a found object. I would never, I was never able to like completely make it my own work. And that's when I realized like I need to learn how to weld. And um, that was a huge turning point for me where um, it was basically like you can draw in metal, you can draw in space. And so that was when, where, all of the work in this exhibit basically um, comes from.